If you are a programmer for more than one year, then you may remember Stack Overflow. It is a website developers used before ChatGPT, and every year they make a developer survey, so developers from all over the world answer which technology they use. And now the results of the survey are available. So let's check them out. 90,000 people took the survey. You may think that 90,000 is a lot of people, but actually there are millions of developers across the world. So the results represent around 10% of all developers. So people are learning to code. Interestingly, Docker is a top used technology, however they compare pip to docker which has no sense. As you see from this survey, a stunning 2% of developers have not entered the middle school, which is quite shocking. Around 10% of people learn programming from their family members or friends. According to Stack Overflow, Australia and United Kingdom have the most experienced developers. Maybe that's because programming was invented in United Kingdom so they had more time to play with the technology. I wonder, what is the developer type student? What do students develop? The answer is knowledge. Most people claim to be between the age of 25 and 34 years old. I think that is not surprising, because around 5 years ago a lot of developers were under 18 years. Now they aged. Oh, most popular technologies. JAVASCRIPT Python, SQL, TypeScript, Bash, then C, 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 PHP, yeah, PHP is making it to the top. Okay, and what is the least popular technology? I haven't heard about it, but I have heard about NIM and Crystal and APL. What I find interesting is that ASP.NET is almost just as popular as WordPress, but there is not a lot of .NET websites. Most are .com or .io or .org. I feel like this is the most interesting part. So the first place is Visual Studio Code, with big gap between Visual Studio. Next is IntelliJ IDEA, the fourth place is the glorious Notepad++, and the fifth place is Vim! And new Vim takes around 10th place or something. Also, a few people use Microtext Editor, which is like Nano or Vim, but for uh, noobs, operating system. Most people use Windows for personal use, and some use it for professional use. And what is their profession, I wonder? Writing texts in Microsoft Word? As I later found out, it is not far from truth. A lot of people who took the survey are executives. Why did they put Ubuntu and Debian separately? This is weird. Arch. A lot of people use it for personal use, that is a big win iPad OS? Never mind. BSD. Actually, Mac OS is partly BSD. At least it used to be. AI search tools. Wolfram Alpha. Isn't it a math solver? A lot of people use GitHub Copilot. Admired and desired. Whoa. JavaScript. Um, people just have to use it. Oh, Rust again makes it to the top. What is interesting is that the most people use AI for writing code. But my opinion is that it's better to learn things with AI than just make it write code. Why does marketing or sales professional get paid more than a programmer? The answer is simple. Marketing. Students get no money. Salary and experience by language. Zig is pretty moneyful language, but there are only 260 responses. They may be all from the same team. So Rust is pretty well paid, PHP is less paid, but in the golden middle is HTML, JavaScript and Java. So people still use Rust, people still get paid for Rust, and probably if you want to be a better developer, you should learn Rust. Or not. Thanks for watching, share this video to your friends if you have any, and see you later!